Welcome back to Greg's Insight Studio. Today we'll be doing a quick audio test on the Talk Pro USB microphone from J Labs. I'll be using DaVinci Resolve to test out this microphone, so you'll also be able to see how an audio track is set up and how to record and playback. Also, how to adjust your equalizer settings as well. If you haven't done so, make sure you check out the link in the top right corner of your screen here, which is an unboxing video and a review of all the features this microphone has to offer. Let's get started. All right, we're in the DaVinci Resolve right now. I'm going to show you how to set up a new audio track so you can go ahead and set up your own microphone. So you're going to start off here on the second tab from the left. It's called the Cut tab. You'll see right here where there is no clips in the media pool. So we're going to go ahead and right click here. You're going to create a new timeline. You can name it whatever you want. So I'm going to do Audio Test. And then you're going to change from stereo to mono for your microphone. If you're recording anything else, you can choose stereo if you'd like. Mono is better for the microphone. Create. And you'll see right here where it pops up with a new, new timeline. It says audio test. Go down here to the right to the Fairlight tab. Click on that. And there you are. You have an audio track. Now from this point on, if you want to create additional audio tracks to kind of keep your audio input separate, you right click right below your current audio track and add an additional track. Again, we'll create another mono so you'll have two tracks here. And if you look off to the right side, you can actually see on the mixer, this is audio track one, audio track two, and your main output. So in order to be able to input recordings, you have to choose your input. The default, it automatically goes to no input. So you will click on this, go to input. And from here, you can see where your microphone is that we're using. So we're using the JLab Talk Pro microphone. So we're going to go ahead and highlight both of those. And then we want to send it to audio track one. So you highlight that. And then here at the bottom, click on patch. And then you can close this out. So now anything that we record will go straight to track number one. You can see right here where it says microphone. That's so it's tied in right now. So at this point, when you're ready to record, all you have to do is click on R. This will make your mic live and you can actually see the deflection right here. So now when you're actually ready to make your recording, you're going to click on the record button right here. Mic check one, two, microphone testing one, two. And when you're done recording, you hit stop. On highlight record. And then from here, you can play it back. You can play it right that. Mic check one, two, microphone testing one, two. It's easy as that. Now, if you want to be able to Increase your sound. You zoom in a little bit using this this guy right here. And this guy right here. And then you can take your audio track and you can just bump this up just a little bit here. And that'll adjust your, your level for your track. Let's try that again. Mic check one two. Microphone testing one two. Now as it is right now, we don't have any effects added to our audio track. We don't have equalizer or any dynamics. So I already have a couple of presets. So you go up here to Fairlight. I'm going to show you my presets and then I'll show you how to create some. So if you open up the presets library, I already have one set up for global track preset. Click on that and choose which track you want to send it to. In this case, we're going to send it to audio track one and then you apply. Change the track because it was mono. It's saved for stereo. So I changed that. Now, if you come over here, you can actually see I have equalizer settings ready to go. And then also you have your dynamics set and ready to go. And in this case, in my dynamics, I have a gate set up. So it'll actually compress some of the background noises when I'm not talking. So there's no the static or the dead air or noises from your computer fan. So you can actually turn that on and record, or you can actually add that after your recording is done. So if you forgot to do it, your recording is not a waste at all. I had a little issue there, so I went ahead and just changed it to mono. Uh, the audio out wasn't patched correctly, so I correct that. 
Um, there's a little bug that I noticed with this is when you load your preset, your gate doesn't always load. So you have to uncheck this and recheck it, and then it'll reapply the gate to your, your track. So we'll go ahead and uh, preview this, and then I'll show you what it sounds like with the gate currently and without the gate. So this is with the gate. Mic check one, two, microphone testing one, two. See, there's no background noise from the computer fan, which is currently running pretty high right now. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the gate off, and this is what this is what it sounds like with it out. Mic check one, two, microphone testing one, two. So you can hear that air sound in the back. I'm gonna go ahead and do it again with the gate on and show you what it sounds like when it's clean. Mic check one, two, microphone testing one, two. Now keep in mind, if you change the settings on this gate, it's all gonna be based on your voice and the noises that you have in your environment of what these settings are gonna be. So now to show you what the equalizer helps with, um, I'm not well versed on how to completely adjust this. I had a friend set it up for me, uh, but I'll show you what it sounds like. This is what it sounds like with your equalizer on. Mic check, one, two, microphone, testing, one, two. And then this is what it sounds like with your equalizer off. Mic check, one, two, microphone, testing, one, two. Now it's, it's pretty close. Again, I, there's more, more adjustments that I have to make in this. That's all going to be based on, again, your type of voice, your type of environment. Well, that's how you set up an audio track, and that's how you adjust your microphone in DaVinci. And this entire uh, video has been recorded with the JLabs microphone. Thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Click the notifications bar and give it a big old thumbs up. If you like something or didn't like something about the video, feel free to leave it in the comments below. In the future, I plan on doing some more DaVinci Resolve tutorials. So please leave a comment below on what type of tutorials you'd like to see, and I would do my best to work on them and get those posted. If you have any questions, feel free to put some comments at the bottom. I'll do my best to answer those for you. Peace.